Hi everyone, welcome to PCI SIG DevCon 2014. My name is Tori Lewis, I'm joined by Rita Horner. We're here showing off our Synopsys PCI Express Gen 3 Complete Solution. What we have here is our Synopsys HAP62 prototyping platform. And inside this FPGA, we have the Synopsys PCI Express Gen 3 Mac. Down below, we have our Enterprise 10 gig high daughter card. Inside this socket is the uh, 28 nanometer test chip, and then it's connected to the PC via the LaCroix PCI Express Interposer. So as you can tell, uh, right now we have the demo not running as evidenced by the zero megabytes per second. And we can see that the dims are blinking quite slowly, showing uh, very little throughput. I wanna show you the read side first. So for our reads from the uh, dot into system memory, we're reading 841 megabytes per second. So let me stop that and let's look at the write operation. Write operation is displayed on these red LEDs, 833 megabytes per second. Now if we go over to the LaCroix PCI Express Analyzer software, we can see on the left that we have the memory reads recorded, which I showed you just a minute ago as well as the memory writes. I'd now like to turn it over to Rita Horner. She'll give you some more information about the Enterprise 10 gig Phi. What I'd like to share with you is a little bit more about our Enterprise 10 gig Phi in 28 nanometer. This is a very configurable Phi that allows you to configure the operational frequencies for different modes of PCIe Gen 1, Gen 2, or Gen 3. At the same time, it has a very robust analog front end that consists of CTLE, DFE, and multiple gain stages. This particular file enables a adaptive equalization as well as programmable equalization that is beneficial for broad range of channel capabilities. In addition to all the equalization capabilities in the file, the file also comes with a GUI interface for customer evaluation that consists of a very user-friendly interface controlling the different channels within the Phi. In this test chip, we have four different individual channels that can be individually controlled, either through the pattern generation or by generating the different equalization setting on a TX or RX. By doing that and running this GUI, you're able to either quickly generate an eye to find out what is the FI's capability of driving the channel of interest, or wait a little bit longer and create a full, complete eye capture. This GUI is also capable of generating a bathtub curve that would enable you to find out how reliable and bit error rate count of the FI for this specific channel um, drive capability is. So what we've seen today is the Synopsys PCI Express Gen 3 Complete Solution. It's being used by over 140 customers. I hope that you found this uh, session informative, and thank you very much. Please visit synopsys.com for further information.